It's set in New York and it uh, features a superhero. And I think it's the first time we've ever seen the Doctor deal with somebody else who can save the planet. <laughs> Usually that's his job. Superheroes nowadays seem to be rather dark characters uh, in films that end up in kind of CGI orgies of destruction. Um, I think this hankers more back to the, to the Christopher Reeve Superman kind of movies that were funny and ironic and witty. There's a wonderful humour to it, Matt Lucas yeah. in it as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, it, seems, it does seem to have a more sort of lighter touch than some of the past episodes. I think the, the, the Christmas Day episode has a special role to fill. I think a lot of the time a lot of people watch it who don't normally watch Doctor Who, so it becomes rather like uh, a, a, a tradition. I think it provides a, a, a nostalgic reminder to people who have perhaps don't watch the show uh, that, it's, that it's still around and it reminds them of their childhood because there's still the TARDIS and there's still monsters and there's still a mysterious man who operates the TARDIS. Um, so it's a kind of, it's, it's, it's a tradition uh, that is quite a responsibility really, to, to deliver now. You've even got the likes of the Prime Minister who says, you know, she's, she's really looking forward to seeing it. I mean, you've, you've got plenty of famous fans, no doubt. Yes, yes, that was quite a surprise that she was, <laughs> she was so keen on it. So I hope she takes his, his message of, of tolerance and kindness and compassion to heart. You talk of responsibility, and it is a huge responsibility playing the role that you are playing, isn't it? I and mean, you've been doing for yeah. three years now. Three years, yeah. For you, I mean, the impact must be huge. I mean, I was in Doctor Who for all of 15 seconds yeah. and I could not read in the news, funnily enough. I couldn't <laughs> believe the number of letters I got as a result. People yeah. saying, you were in Doctor Who, I have to have your yeah, autograph. Can you yeah, send yeah. me this, that and the other? Yeah. So to be the Doctor, I mean, the attention you must get must be enormous. Yeah, but it's very nice. I mean, it's a kind of, it's a, it's, you know, a un it's a really unique position to be in. There are only 12 people who have played this role. Uh, and you become the focus of uh, the affection for the role. And, and you stand on the shoulders of everybody else who, who ever played it. Uh, and they've done all the work, really. So you, I just turn up and kind of, you know, look alarmed or, <laughs> or be excited and blow up a Dalek here and there. And um, it is a... a, a it's a change in your life. It it's... must be quite intrusive as well, though, because you must... You're so distinctive. And you must get people coming up to you what the whole time. You mean funny time. looking? No, I don't mean that at all. I just mean very distinctive. But you must get people coming up to you the whole time. Yeah. And I mean, there was a people report. are very you know, people are very uh, nice actually. I think it's something about the character. They don't. It, it, he, the Doctor, is a good thing in the world, and I think people feel um, a deep affection for whatever Doctor it was they grew up with. And so you sort of are like kind of like the Wizard of Oz or something. You know, that's what happens. You know, I, you know, sometimes I walk into a room and there'll be some kids there and they'll gasp. That's a wonderful feeling. You know, that, can you imagine how lovely that is to have such a affection pointed in your direction? And they don't ask very much of you. They just like to see you and, and for you to say hello to them and smile at them and, you know. That's on a good day. There was, there was a report I saw I mean, last year that said you, you literally had to move house because you had people on your doorstep. Is that true? Well, I, I lived next to the park and the ice cream van used to park right outside my house. And so there used to be a, a huge queue of kids there. And uh, I, it was just, I, I, we moved just before uh, my, my Doctor Who's came out. But I knew it wasn't going to be a great place uh, to be. I, I would be very exposed in that way. I mean, my kind of attitude about it is that I didn't want it to change my life. Uh, much, but it does. Um, but in as much as my, uh, my my private life goes, it remains much the same. Uh, but when I go out into the world, I can't. Uh, it, you know, I don't want to escape the idea that I'm Doctor Who, and it's finite. You know, I won't be Doctor Who forever. Uh -huh. you know? So on, there then. will be a day <laughs> when when people don't come and say hello. When's that going to be then? Oh, not for a long time. I hope. You hope. <laughs> Peter Capaldi, thank you.